Mr. Rose. Hey guys. It is like 1.52. I'm sorry I sent you guys It's a little late. I had to take a shower and my hair was greasy and oily. And I was watching a good Lifetime movie. If you have not seen the movie Jailbreak, I think it was Jailbreak Romance or whatever it was called that came on last night. I recorded it to watch it and OMG it was good. It was so good. But, uh, would I ever do something like that? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, we're on chapter 36. In the book of Genesis on chapter 36. So, um, let's get to it. Sorry about that. I just... Anyway, okay. These your descendants. Now these are the generations of Ezu who lived in Edom. Ezu took his wives and his daughters of Canaan. Ahah's daughter and Elon, the hit with uh, uh, the daughters of Anna and daughters of Zeron, the Hussite, and Bashan Abish daughter, sister Nijaba, and Daber and Ishi plants, and Bezant roots, and Bezant pears. Just days you and Islam, and then are the sons of Ishu which were born into him into the land of Canaan. And Ishu took his wives and his sons and the daughters, all of the persons of his. Okay. His house and his cattle and all the beasts. And all the substitute which he had gotten in the lands of Canaan and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. Now he's going to see his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than that they might dwell together in the land were in. They were stronger, could not bear them because of the cattle. There dwelt Ezu and Mont, Sarshushu and De Edom. And there are generations of Ezu, the father of Edom and Mont. Sure, and these names of Ezu sons and Ephesians and of the. Okay, hang on. I lost my my my. There is a son of. Okay, yeah. A dash. The wives of Ezu Lulu, the sons of Bishma, and the wives of Ezu. And the sons of Ephesians were Tremens, Omar, Zephoto, and Jitanya, and Kishi, and Tina, and continued the Ezu sons. And she bared an Ephesian. Amy, these were the sons of Adishi, Ishu's wife. And there are the sons of Elishna, Han, and Zerah, Shananana, and Nishishi. 
These were the sons of Bushama and Ezu's wife. Now, Ezu, I'm going to say they're kind of like Mormons, where you have the husband and you can have as many as wives as you want. One man, a whole bunch of wives. Like sister wives. Sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong. I can't pronounce them right, but bear with me. This book is my husband's, and he promised to go take me to the Christian bookstore and get a Bible that is a Bible like this that has big print where I can see it better and be able to read it better to you guys. And these were the sons of Ahai, Misha, Badr, Ashi, and daughters of Ejod and Ezu's wife. And the bears of Ezu, Juja, and Jerusalem, and Kiran. These were dukes of the sons of Ezu, the sons of Euphrasia, and Freedom, sons of Ezu, Duke, Timon, Duke or Omar, Duke. Sifoto, Duke Tijan, Duke Quran, Duke Jintan, and Duke Aaki. These are the Jews' sex names of Ephesia in the lands of Edom. There were the sons of Adesh. And these are the sons of Rebel Isha. Duke Kinuham, Duke Iraja, Duke Shanahan, Duke Maja, these are the Dukes that name Arira and lands of Edom. These are the sons of Bishanama, Ishu's wife. Whew. Okay, we can keep going on and on and on about Dukes and Ishu and Aju and Shagyoko and Shagyoko and Shagyoko. Okay. Ezu's wife, Duke Jashu, Duke Jaluma, Duke Quran. These were dukes that came from Ahodalaba, daughter of Anna, Ezu's wife. These are the sons of Ezu, who is Edom, and these are the dukes. These are the sons of Sharon Haran. Who imitate the land Lotan and Shababa and Shidon and Ajan and Dijon and Ezer and Bishana? These are the dukes of Harat and the children of Sarah and the ends of Edom. And the children of Loja and Yon, Hoshala. And Homan and Lotan sisters was Tina, Tin, Kim, Nina, Tamina, Tamina, I guess I got right, Tamina, and the children who Shabala were these, then Alvin, and Madahat, and Ebon, Shebo, and Osman. These were the children of Ziba and Zerah, both a Ajab and a Na, or that a Na that found the mules in the wilderness as he fed and sized the Zion, his father. And the children of Anash were these Dijon and Akabaga, the daughters of Anna. And these are the children of Dijon, Herndon, and Ejon, and Rubbish, and Shannon. And the children of Ejon were there, Burzin, and Zizan, and Kebza, and the children of Dijon, and these are Eju, and Tiran, Iran, not Tiran, Iran. These are the dukes that come of the Harvard dukes of Loto and Duke. Shoban, Duke of Zinon, Duke of Alanash, 
Duke Dijon, Duke Izo, Duke Dijon. These are the Dukes that come to Heron among the Dukes and the land of Shivan. The kings of Edom. And these are the kings that referred in the land of Edom. There were Mizain and any king over the children of Israel. And Babylon, the sons of Babylon, remained in the Edom, and the name of the city was Gihana. Banana. And Balan died, and Jabo, Jaba, the son of Ziran, a Bojan regime in his seed. And Jabo died in his name of the land, and Tiran is in his family. I'm just looking, if you look behind me over here, you see I have the all container. It kind of looks like a face, if you get it. It kind of looks like you got an eye, an eye, a nose going like this, and you got a half a smile with a little thing. It's kind of cute. Anyway, to finish. Okay. And Hadad died of son of Aramashus and Rechat was in his seed. And Shem had died, and so were the Rus, both by the river, rejoined his stead. And so died in Barahamran, the son of Ashbor, John, in his stream. And Ashbor, the son of Arbon, died. And Hagar region his his seed, and the name of the city of Payu, and his wife' name was Maria Abel, and daughter of Machi, the daughter of Mishabaga, the Duke of Edom. These are the names of the dukes that came from Eju according to their families. After their place by their name, Duke Kinna, Kim, Na, Duke Abash, Duke Jiduth, Duke Hoaba, and Duke Isha, Duke of Panon. Duke of Kinas, Duke of Timon, Duke of mm, Milzar, Duke of Megdala, Duke of Iran. These be the Dukes of Edom according to their habitations in the land of the Persian. He is Ishu, the father of Edom Lights. Alright. So next week we get into chapter 37 in this book. I'm just, I tell my husband, I highlight the big, dark, bold, blue, bold words in here in his Bible. And he said, okay. Usually my husband will sit there at night and he will used to get the Bible out and go through and look at things and do things that has to do with the Bible. But here recently he hasn't really been wanting to do that. He's been more focused on working on his old school car. So. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer. I pray that there is no more war and that people start loving each other more than having war. I have so many feelings. I 
would love to go. So many feelings and things that I would like to do. I praise you, Lord, that you help me with my eyesight and everything getting better in the headache. I pray you make myself well as well as my husband and everything else. I pray for all my friends on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, and Instagram, and Twitter. How did I get my Twitter account back up? It's so weird. I pray for a lot of things, Lord. I know it takes forever for you to answer prayers. But I'm praying that things go good. I want to thank you, Lord, for letting me live another day. Waking up. Having another morning, another day. I'm sure we all thank you, Lord. I thank you for being into my life. I thank you for being here and knowing what is going on in this house and how bad this house is and what we need to get done. Lord, I pray that we can eventually have the money to tear this house down and rebuild. It would be cool. I'm sure that you'll help us with that, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday because I'm going to try to enjoy mine. And hopefully I get on YouTube and have some good videos to watch. Until next time. Bye, guys.